How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to What If Earth Got Kicked Out of the Solar System, Rogue Earth, by In a Nutshell. Alright, so I don't, I'm not quite sure what to call this, because I'm doing this in the middle of the week. I was going to call it Science Week, but it's not. So I don't know, it's just going to be science videos, just a little bit, because I really want to keep up with the In a Nutshell stuff, and I really, really feel bad for all the stuff that I have missed, just like randomly, just random videos here and there that I've missed throughout me trying to do all the videos. So uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing this uh, couple days. I guess I'm going to do one more video after this one. So without any further ado, here is What If Earth Got Kicked Out of Our Solar System. The night sky seems peaceful and orderly. Yes, it does. But in reality, stars <laughs> are careening through the galaxy. Your videos are anything to go by. Of thousands of kilometers per hour. Not Wonderful. Not static formations, but changing neighborhoods constantly. Love to see it. Space is big, and so the stars of the Milky Way are very unlikely to hit us. Unfortunately, they don't have to hit anything to make us have a really bad time on Earth. Oh, do tell. And there are already stars. Oh my God. To get very close. Oh really? Can't wait for you to explain. You have a cell phone. God, I love it in nutshell videos so much. To man. understand how dangerous stars are to us, we need to talk about oh. gravity. <laughs> gravity. I was about to every say it has a huge every other gravity has a huge part in the universe. It. You are attracted by an atom a million light years oh. away, and vice versa. Luckily, Please call me out for dinner first. Weaker over distance, and it also depends on how massive something is. Uh, yeah. So things that are close and are very massive are more attractive, winning the cosmic tug of war. This way, massive things define how small Hello. things behave around them. <laughs> Again, the perspective. The man. sun makes up 99.75% of all the mass in the solar system, and so it shapes the behavior. Not scale. Okay, thank you. Oh, I big blood blood zero. Years ago, after the sun was born, the solar system was That's a bright. chaotic and dangerous place, as the planets were formed from countless little pieces that collided constantly. <laughs> but over the eons, a stable balance emerged. It's just nice Today, to have this. And asteroids have settled into for him to literally spoon feed it for me. I love we it. We have the inner and outer planets, the asteroid and Kuiper belt, and at the edge, the Oort cloud, a giant sphere of comets oh. orbiting slowly in cold storage. We really oh, when you put it that way, that sounds amazing. Cold storage. If another star came too close to us, its gravity What does this have to do with a rogue the Earth, though? Like, a like... <laughs> messing up the pleasant order of the planets and asteroids and comets. Oh, this that is. Some I mean, it's danger. destructive, but some it's 70, quite pretty. Years ago, a red dwarf brown dwarf binary system passed through the Oort cloud and messed things up. It might really even have sent a deadly onslaught of asteroids our way. Like, yo, wake up! Something's actually happening. Until those visitors from the Oort cloud arrive in the inner solar system. Oh, is that all? <laughs> but there's a much bigger problem on the horizon. Oh, do tell. Laser 710. It's worse. Dwarf with about half the mass of the sun is currently headed towards the solar system. Like straight up. In about a million years, it'll pass through the Oort cloud and become the brightest star in the night sky. Oh. A close flyby like this. I have a feeling that's going to put a damper on things. Of thousands of years disrupting the orbits of millions of objects in the Oort cloud considerably. If we're unlucky, I hear that in the background. it will trigger a new period of planetary bombardment similar to the early solar system. Oh, no. The night sky could be filled with comets and asteroids raining down. At least the I see they're trying system. to defend. The larger ones could cause dinosaur level mass extinctions oh. and would be bad for you know, the You know, I was going to say the Ice Age, but... But it could get much worse. The galaxy is an intense place. So destructive. And stars get close to each other regularly. So it is possible that a star could come much closer and not just pass us, but fly directly through the inner solar system. Oh! This would be very bad in the extreme. Hi, neighbor. The chance of another star colliding with the sun At least just for us for sugar, nothing more. astronomically unlikely, but that isn't what we're worried about. Oh, okay, this worse. If another star were to pass by about as close as the Earth is from the sun, it could easily... Okay, now we're tying into what this system. is actually about. I got you. The odds of such an event are estimated to be around 1 in 100,000 in the next 5 billion years. So you're saying there's still a Small, chance? But not absurdly so. As we discussed in another video, there seem to be billions of rogue planets doing their own thing in the galaxy, and this is one way to make them. That is so really interesting, something I never would have thought about. What would happen on Earth? Uh, Kicking Earth oh, out of he the lost solar the system. marbles game. Do any of y'all guys actually know how to play marbles? The solar system, a small orangish dot appears in the sky that grows bigger and bigger for months, eventually becoming visible during the day. Okay. It would get bigger Majora's Mask, and much except brighter than the sun. Moon too bright to look at directly. The night sky would be filled with an eerie red glow. Oh, that's kind of cool. After a few months, it would start shrinking again. 
but so would the sun. Oh. Over a few years, the sun slowly grows smaller in the sky, and with it, warmth and light start to dissipate. Hardly knew yet. All around the world, as the days turn dark, the final winter uh, of humanity What's that movie? Uh, begin. Day After Tomorrow. The Instantly reminded me of that. Begin to grow and spread, Even though that's very fiction. shrivel and die. Oh no. Forests freeze, and animals die in droves. Not the animals. As the Earth passes I don't care about humans. the orbit of Mars, the average surface temperature has plummeted to near minus 50 degrees Celsius. Oh. From space, Earth begins Probably to look still like a icy moon, <laughs> the blue-green surface becoming the pale grey-white of death. Oh! As global infrastructure breaks down, You're such a way with words for indoors, death. Burning what they can for warmth as the temperature continues to drop, Elvis? counting the days until they'll be out of food which no longer grows. Everybody I mean, the surface that is terrible. Is borrowed time. A splinter? By the time Earth reaches Jupiter's orbit, surface temperatures sink to minus 150 degrees Celsius, lower than the coldest ever recorded temperatures. I in was expecting a really fun adventure Maybe through the galaxy. Say, I'm not gonna lie. Now, I don't know what I was. Like, everyone is. That dead. seems stupid. Now that I see this. Without the energy from sunlight to evaporate water, clouds oh. don't form and the water cycle stops. That's the kind of important. Ice caps eventually touch at the equator, and the oceans become covered in a thick layer of ice. That's hard to believe. As more and more of its heat leaks out, Touches. more water freezes onto the bottom of the ice sheet. The, the concentration warm. of salt in the deep ocean grows, oh, poisoning man. most animals that survived here. Although around hydrothermal vents, communities of extremophiles oh. might adapt even to these circumstances. Bit chilly, eh? <laughs> Deep below the surface, some bacteria would not notice. I was about to say, within bacteria, that... as they're still kept warm by the radioactive decay of elements in the Earth's core. God. As the Earth reaches the orbit die. of Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, Which is a good the thing. Sun is still the brightest star in the sky, but it's one among many, with stars now visible during the day. Oh. The temperature is now barely 40 degrees Celsius oh. above absolute zero, oh, no. below the freezing temperature of the gases in the atmosphere. Gases? A weird spectacle enjoyed by no one, unfortunately. I was about to say, no one's there to the enjoy it. The atmosphere turns into nitrogen and then oxygen snow. Over a few years, it's deposited into an icy 10 meter thick sheet all over the planet's surface, with only a thin whisper of gas remaining. Well, I was sort of right about the frozen the ice age. of flora and fauna are oh, buried beneath Oh, the them. same fault. As Earth leaves the solar system, Why? it becomes a rogue planet. At least stick with the ducks, man. I'm used to those guys dying. Dark, lifeless and in solitude. But weirdly enough, there is hope. <laughs> Are you sure? Humanity would not be surprised How do you by turn this, this around? Extinction event. You're pretty we good at it, though. Thousands of years in advance. Yeah. There's not a lot we could do to stop a star, but we could prepare. Most of us would perish, but a few million oh. could survive in huge artificial complexes. Kind of like a rat. Geothermal and nuclear energy, possibly even fusion, if we can learn to use the ice around us for power. Okay. Here, humanity might survive that is for hundreds of thousands of years. At some point, we would become used to our circumstances, and new generations would watch documentaries and overcome and in adapt, right? about the time we had what else are you gonna do? and could walk the surface oh, have of Earth. a fake sun. Oh. And at some point, we Low might decide to look for another home. Hey -oh. If the Earth were lucky enough to pass by another star with a habitable planet, we could try to make a fresh start. Oh. Space flight, oddly enough, would become very That's easy a without the little window, away. though. So it's not unthinkable that the last survivors would leave Earth behind and try again on a new planet around the Okay, new now star. it's Snowman Sky. Gotcha. Maybe <laughs> one day, thousands of years later, the descendants of humanity will tell uh, the strawberry. Earth's Holy shit. Past. Stories of our lost home, of a mysterious icy planet. Floating I mean, that's still very depressing, but through the dark at least space. humans still survived that way, right? So basically, the key to humanity's survival is learning about what we'll be dealing with. Well, we'd better get cracking then. Our friends oh. from brilliant other perfect there they are. way to becoming more science savvy. It's really, really dope brilliant what they do, man. Brilliant is a problem-solving website and app that makes science accessible in, the world in a over. practical way. More than 60 interactive courses sparkle, give you the sparkle. tools to crack problems in math, math logic, logic engineering, engineering. by yourself. Seems like Instead logic's out the window nowadays, format, but... Brilliant uses storytelling, code writing, and hands-on problems to keep you entertained and engaged. Huh. This way, a small daily challenge can build up to real long-term understanding of that is pretty cool. and achieving I really like your that. STEM goals. Like what Cursey got does in their in videos. Little bite-sized little bite -size pieces toes, keep you entertained while also your head without your really noticing. getting knowledge. Right exactly. Randomly. Yes, I'm saying to that! <laughs> science, go to I should just shut up and let him talk. 
And there's an extra perk for Kurzgesagt viewers, the first 200 Again, people to use the link dangerously to late to this their annual membership, which lets you view all the daily problems in the archives and unlock every course. Brilliant That's cool. helps you end your day a little smarter. Still the best preparation for the future we can think of. Love it. Somehow tied it into the video. All right, so as expected, like always, phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. I love it, and I didn't really think about it, but the stuffs that I'm missing have been space-themed, and that's like my number one topic for science is space. Like, I love space so much. Like, the unknown, I mean, I've babbled. I don't know how many times with this, like, uh, just space, the unknowing of space, uh, it just keeps me entertained and questioning and just, I don't shut up about it and I keep babbling on and on until I don't make any sense, but, I, like, in a nutshell, it has a really good way to make me that way, like, they, like I said, like, in this video, for instance, and many others that I've reacted to in the past, like, the way they do the little bite-sized pieces and they give you, like, these little caricatures, you know, like the birds and stuff, and they make it animated and brightly colored and you're like, oh, okay, like, like he said, what uh, Brilliant does, like, they, they make it really, really cool to learn to where you don't even feel like you're learning anymore, and that's what I really, really, really like about this channel so much. Like, Kurt's has something special, like, the, what they do on this platform is nothing shy of, I don't know, it's just really, really cool. Like, education is very, very important, and like, I, I'm, I really, really love, like, history and science and stuff, but I hated the class. Like, I do not like school just the way it's become. It's just like nothing but, hey, pass this test, okay, graduate. Like, no, like, we need need this like we need to learn and curse to cat i love you you're uh you're better than the uh <laughs> american <laughs> system i guess the american school system so thank you everybody so much for watching if you like this video feel free to leave a like down below subscribe ring the bell become a member you get videos a day early and check out the merch so with that said i have been master zero y'all guys have been fantastic and i'll see y'all in the next episode later days